and we will be creating our own blend space. So right click on an empty space, animation, blend space, not 1D. Oh, okay. And then uh, you probably have two like me, so you can hover on them to make sure you're picking the proper skeleton. Uh, and then you can use the, the, the path here. Uh, make sure you, you, you pick the one from the anim starter pack. And then this will be our I don't know, strafe blend space. Now, uh, what is a blend space? Well, it's it's uh, technically a, an array of animations that are going to be blended together based on parameters. In our case, we'll be creating a, a simple strafing system using four animations, walking forward, backward, left and right. The diagonals to make sure that the strafing is complete is going to be are going to be handled by blending between two animations, so say walking forward and right. And the two variables we need in order to create that uh, 2D space is the speed and the direction. So over here, on the axis settings, uh, what we'll be doing is the horizontal axis is going to be the direction. And uh, so a, a full circle is 360 degrees, right? But actually it is, so it when you're walking forward, it's zero degrees. When you're working backward, it can be either exactly 180 degrees or minus 180, okay? And then minus 180 to zero to 180 together makes 360. So the minimum axis value here is going to be minus 180, while the maximum is going to be 180. Let's leave the number of grid divisions to four and the interpolation time to something like, uh, let's write 0.3. And on the vertical axis, we'll be using uh, uh, the speed. So the minimum axis is when you're idling, right? So it's zero. The maximum one, uh, so by default, the, the character from Unreal is moving at 600. We'll be, actually what we're gonna do right now is just, let's set 200 and we're gonna be able to, uh, we are gonna have to remember to just uh, change this in the uh, character parameters. And then later in the video, we'll be introducing a, another layer of uh, animations so to give our character the ability to uh, to jog or to run, and then we'll be increasing this this value. But for now, let's let's stick to 200. Okay. And now what we're gonna have to do is just to fill all those um, um, points here in the space with animations. All right. So here in the middle, you have direction zero, right? You have minus 180 over there and 80 here, which means that here we're walking forward. Now. Uh, what you can do is just type walk and we will be using these four animations uh, down at the bottom here, walk backward rifle are in sight. Now what you want to do is just to drag the forward over there and then you can drag it as well on the, the speed zero because so s some blend spaces include the idle inside but I don't like to do this. Uh, this is why we've created already an idle state. Okay, backward will be both at 180 and minus 180. The walk right will be at minus 90 and then left at positive 90. Now the cool thing is that if you uh, press and hold shift, uh, you are able to to, to test your, your blend space, okay? So just make sure you have everything properly plugged I hope I have not uh, inverted a, a left and right, but we'll see this in a minute. Okay, so let's click save. Let's go back to our uh, locomotion here and uh, make sure you're in the move state. You can delete this uh, test animation. And what you want to do instead is to look for your strafe blend space, plug it to your output pose. And you can see here that we need two variables. 
uh, because we, uh, you know, we have defined them in the axis, but we need to read from something. But luckily enough, we already have those variables because we've been creating them together. And so you can just drag them from the list here. But yeah, so this is something I've done wrong uh, in the video, so you can ignore this. I don't know if uh, if you've you've uh, caught the moment I did this, but it's uh, by mistake. Now, uh, what you can, uh, the easy part is that you can just drag and then release on the input here and it will automatically give you a get and something for direction. Boom. Okay. Now we can compile, making sure we have no errors. Uh, you can save if you'd like. And then let's click play. And now you probably have this. And this is perfectly a perfectly normal phenomenon um, because we need to change something with two things. So the, the 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 max walk speed of the character that I've just mentioned, as well as the way uh, we don't want our character to move towards, to rotate towards the direction of motion, which is the default behavior. So go to your uh, go back to your map. Click on your character, and then in the uh, outliner here, go back at the very bottom and click on Edit Third Person Character, I believe. And then click on your character movement, so the last uh, component here, and then scroll down all the way to Character Movement Rotation Settings, and then you need to uncheck that Orient Rotation to Movement, okay? Press Save. Start the game again, and now... Oh yeah, okay, so like I thought, I inverted left and right, so we're gonna have to uh, fix this. But you can see that the, 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 the strafing system uh, is already working. You can still... Oh no, you can't. So I'm gonna have to fix this as well, is that we want the, um, the mouse to control the orientation of the character. But it's just one thing we need to check in the uh, properties. All right, so let's fix the uh, the blend space first. So we have left on the positive 90 and it's supposed to be right. So right on 90 and left on min minus 90, minus 90, sorry. Okay, press save and now let's play again, okay looking way better okay uh, so yeah let's go back to the, the third person uh, component click on viewport and this is actually use controller rotation yaw that you need to set to true in order for your mouse to control still the orientation of your character which is you know pretty convenient in a third person shooter right all right press compile save play now you're still strafing but you're controlling the the forward direction with your mouse which is a pretty convenient uh, next step is uh, we want to give our character the ability to accelerate to start jogging because it's a little bit frustrating right to uh, to move at such a low speed and what I want to introduce here is that we'll be uh, making so that when you press and hold shift, your character increases the speed. And then if you release shift, he go, goes back to, to walking. So uh, that's pretty important because it's, uh, it's going to introduce the concept of using input to trigger specific events. So what we want to do is go to the event graph of our third person character. And this is where we're gonna be creating our, let's call it the, uh, the the running mechanic, which is pretty simple. We can right click anywhere, and then uh, we'll be using the left shift key. So uh, look for left shift, and you will have keyboard events left shift. Okay, now what happens is that we want to do something when uh, left shift is pressed, and then something else when it's released. And uh, what is this? Well, we want to increase 
the speed of our character. The easiest, the, the easiest, sorry, and the cleanest way to do this is to increase the maximum walk speed of our character. You remember we set that to 200? Now what we'll do is that by default it's 200. When you press and hold shift, it will increase to, uh, we'll try something like 500. And then when you release, you go back to 200. And we'll be able to do this with an interpolation so that it's not, you know, it, it's not uh, jerking in and out. Now, there's just one thing we need first is to have access to the character movement controller. So you can right click here and uh, type get character car movement, get character movement, okay? And then you can drag something out of it and uh, write type walk speed, get set max walk speed, okay? And then you can copy this, uh, plug this one from character movement to target, and then when uh, left key is pressed, we want the max walk speed to be set at 500, and then when you release, you go back to the one that we've defined, which is 200. Okay. Now, one thing to remember is that you see here, the exec comes directly from uh, the, the, the event of being pressed and released. So you don't need to connect these to any of those other um, elements here or, or exec uh, chain. Now let's, uh, as usual, do a proper commenting here and we'll just call that running. Now, what we can do is just to test it right away in game. Of course, uh, we will not be the character will not be supporting the animations yet, but if it works, the character will be increasing in speed and it's probably gonna be visible, all right? So now if you press shift, I'm going way faster, still working, of course, and if I release, I'm going back to normal speed. All right, and now second and last step, we will handle and support that speed increase directly inside the blend space we've been creating a moment ago. So let's go back to our friend, the walk blend space. And what we'll do here, the first thing we want to do is to increase the maximum axis value here and set it to 500. And now you can, uh, so the first thing we want to do, or the second thing, because there was already a first thing, uh, is that we want to move our walk animations to be at, uh, so we have just four divisions, but let's just say, uh, bring them down to the middle, which is at 250, it's gonna be it's gonna be still okay. And then these animations are called, I think, jog. Yeah, jog, uh, rifle. So same thing, the forward goes at zero, backward goes twice for 80 and minus 80, and then, right goes at positive 90 and left at minus 90. And now you can see that uh, once again, left shift um, gives you that the debug. So I'm at zero, speed is zero as well. 250, I'm at the, the walk speed. 500, I'm at the jogging speed. Save, let's try that in game. We can play, now I'm walking. I'm pressing shift and then my character is increasing speed and changes the animation accordingly. But now you can see that it's happening pretty fast so it's jerking so it's not good looking because I have an interpolation time here of the speed of zero and I need something pretty smooth say 0 0.3 and I will have something way better. Uh, we'll pause the video here, and in a, a second part, we'll be handling a, an aiming mechanic uh, that will introduce the concept of layers. So, I'll see you in a minute.